Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of our Minecraft Let's Play series. Um, I believe we are on episode 32, and I know it has been a while since I have made one of these. So if you are tuning in, I really appreciate it. Uh, the first thing I have to let you guys know is that I somehow messed up the audio for this video. I did not record audio, I didn't have my mic on, so I have to go back and record audio over the top of it. So hopefully I can remember what I was talking about. Anyway, uh, I really appreciate it you guys. We uh, haven't played in a while. Um, I've been doing a lot of fun stuff with my family over the past few weeks. We had a holiday, the 4th of July, and I do a lot of my recording over the weekend and with the holiday and kind of with travel and everything, I just wasn't able to go through and do it. Um, I have been playing Minecraft a little bit from time to time. I have mostly just been gathering materials and kind of doing the mindless stuff that goes along with Minecraft because um, I knew I wouldn't have time to be able to go through and make, a, make an episode. Um, but one of the things that I did uh, start to do was gather up items for our next project and we went through and basically I harvested all the wheat from our field below us and the farm. I went through and harvested all the crops in front of the farmhouse. Um, I added a bunch of beehives as well. Um, just little things like that. I did a lot of mining. Um, went through and gathered up more materials. I went to the nether and gathered materials. Um, and one of the things I did was is I colored all these sheep. So we had just red sheep because we were building the balloon in the sky over there. But I needed a bunch of different colors for our next project. And I wasn't 100% sure what colors I needed. So we just went with a bunch of different random ones. And I've been gathering wool. Um, now, I do have an idea as to what I would like to work on this episode, and it's going to be right over there, next to Ollie's house. Um, I would like to build a potion room, or a potion building. Uh, we recently found some blaze rods, as well as nether wart for the first time. And I think it'd be awesome if we had a place where we could just go and get all of our potions and do all of our brewing in one place. Now, I want to make this build in a different style than I've ever made it before. Um, I want to try and use blocks that I normally don't build with, and I want to try and build kind of in a style that I never have really built in. I don't think that it'll really match what we've been building so far, but since it is something that I want to add to the world, we're just going to have to try it and uh, see what it looks like. These are the blocks I've gathered. So we got a bunch of different colors, red, blue, purple, um, and we're just gonna try to go through and make something uh, with these blocks. I have a pretty good idea of what I would like to build um, and kind of how I'd like to decorate it, but not having ever done it before, I'm not 100% sure how it will turn out. So I'm gonna go through and get started and hopefully I can come up with something cool. Um, hopefully uh, we can uh, figure out if we can get this audio to match up. And I apologize for that, you guys. But hopefully everything will work out and we can get something cool built here. All right, you guys. I'm going to get to work on this. We're going to see what we can come up with. I will see you here in just a little bit. All right, so the audio is still kind of messed up, but this is what we are working with. So I went with red for the base, and we went ahead and used like redstone, red wool, mushrooms, and the red terracotta. Um, we used the uh, red trees from the nether um, kind of as an outline, and I tried to do a gradient to where it went from dark to light. So I spent a lot of time working on trying to get the darker red blocks at the bottom and the lighter red blocks at the top. Um, hopefully from a distance you'll be able to tell it a little bit better. Um, I think you will when you're up close it's a little bit difficult but I've been standing back there on that little tower and looking at it and after yeah after quite some time I I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks good. 
So in the end, these are the blocks that we used. Um, and now we just have to put a roof on it. So I have a pretty good idea. I left a little area to kind of make a curved roof on the edges. Um, and I think we'll go with either blue or pink or purple or something on the roof. But we're going to go through and, and take a look at it and see what we can't add up there. Um, again, I apologize for the audio, but uh, hopefully it'll turn out. All right, you guys, I'm going to get started on the roof, and we will see what we can come up with. See you in just a little bit. All right, so I'm sure as you can tell, we're still working with the audio here, but uh, we have the roof done. And I think we have the main structure done, and I wanted to look at it from far away to try to get an idea of the gradient of the colors, but, you know, in the end here it is let's take a look and see what we think ah oh, there it is so we start off with the dark colors on the bottom and try to blend up into the lighter colors we went with a white trim around the top for the roof line uh, i ultimately went with purple and pink on the roof and so i'm hoping that the red from back here kind of blends up from dark to light as well as the purple will blend up from dark to light as well. Um, it really stands out on our line here. Let's take a look. So you can see we went with crying obsidian, purple wool, uh, amethyst, and then lavender wool, I believe, as well as pink wool. Tried to get that dark to light going. Um, I think the roof looks awesome. I love the way that this turned out. Um, we added a few little trim pieces around the side. But in the end, this is exactly what I was looking for. I think from a distance, the colors blend well together. Um, and when you get up close, I think it looks kind of cool. So I think we should go up close. Let's run up there and take a look and see what we think of the building as we kind of get close to it and approach it. All right, let's head up that way, you guys. All right, and this is what it looks like as we get a little bit closer. So this should be the last clip where I forgot to record audio. Um, so hopefully we can get it all to line up and kind of work out here, but hopefully by the next clip we'll have it back up and running. But as we come up the stairs and take a look at it, you can see we have a bunch of crazy blocks put together. And to be honest, I love the way that it turned out. I really like the style of it. It's exactly what I was going for. Almost like a fantasy style building. Um, but I wanted something crazy for my potion house. And I like the way that the red and the purple are kind of separated here. Um, with the white quartz trim on the roof. Um, I, I just couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. I, I think the gradient from a distance works perfect. Um, if we take a look at the roof here, you can see we went with like crying obsidian, purple wool, crystals, and like lavender and pink. Now, outside of the building, I'd like to go through and make it really kind of crazy. We're going to put a bunch of nether stuff on the ground, but if we take a look on the inside, you can see that is a lot to take in. Like there is a lot going on up there. Um, looks awesome on the outside. I don't think I can do this on the inside every time I come in here. Um, I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to make a ceiling, uh, probably about right in here. We'll go through and put a ceiling in and then get this place decorated. Um, I'd like to have the brewing stands and the potions and the storage in here, but not the nether wart. So I'd like to add the nether wart actually on this little hill right here, on this kind of on the side of the cliff. So I'd like to make like little switchbacks where we can kind of run back and forth and the nether wart is growing outside, maybe like under some pergolas, almost like to where it looks like it's like wine country. Um, but what we really need is we need a way to get up to the top of this hill because we are going to continue to build up here. Um, and I think little switchbacks will look cool, but the ultimate plan is to have a way to get to the next building up here. We are going to build all along this canyon wall. 
Um, and I think if we made it look like the nether wart was growing outside and it was kind of like wine country, I think that'd be pretty cool. So that's the plan here. Um, and like I was saying down below, we're going to really kind of go crazy with it. We are going to make all sorts of nether, um, additions, like almost like it's infected and it's growing out from the building. So I'm going to go over the top. We're going to get crazy. We're going to try to make this landscape look nuts up here. I'm um, going to get this thing decorated and hopefully the audio will be ready. All right. I think what I was trying to say in that last clip was wish me luck, <laughs> but I did not get it out. Um, man, let me tell you, I needed all the luck I could get. I spent literally probably a whole day, probably about eight hours trying to complete the terraforming and get it all the way uh, I wanted it to look. It We took so many trips to the nether. Um, oh, look, there it is. I'm so excited. Um, as, as we usually do, we will check it out from our house. That kind of seems to be the barometer for us. We usually jump up and look at all of our uh, builds from our home and there it is so the structure itself obviously is the same but we have added our terraces um, with our little pergolas or whatever they would be called um, with the nether wart growing underneath it and i honestly i i just love the way it turned out it took me so many trips to the nether to go through and gather up enough um, wood, that red wood is what I needed. Um, it just takes time, but let's take a look and see. I went really overboard with the uh, exterior. So, oh, check it out. I added these. So one of the things I was tired of making these light posts everywhere. So I added these almost like it was like a sewer grate. I don't know what it would be like a manhole cover and we put them everywhere up here um, but yeah there we go look at that guys I am so in love with this build honestly I think it's awesome this was so much fun the terraforming behind me took forever to figure out how I wanted it to look um, I originally built it with stone bricks and it just stood out way too much. So we had to go through, we, we have no idea where mangrove is, um, so we had to make our mud uh, with a water bottle, but went through and did that. And then as you can see, we collected a ton of items from the nether. And I love this build. Look, we put these down here, almost like a sewer grade, but we hung some vines on the edges. Uh, we've got it outlined with the white quartz stairs with the water going around it, but we've got the mushrooms, we've got all this stuff to where it looks almost like it's infected, like it's coming off of the build itself. Um, yeah, we put these little things everywhere so that we don't have to have any torches or lanterns outside at all. But let's go inside and see uh, how the decorations turned out. This place is going to be great. I've already started using it a little bit. Um, yeah, here we go. This is what we ended up with. So we basically have everything in here that we are going to need. Um, when you come up here, we've got our infinite water source. I know it didn't need to be this big, but I don't have an infinite water source anywhere in this world. This was my first one. So... Um, yeah, I just went ahead and made it a, a big water source. We've got extra brewing stands everywhere. We've got the ones that we use, and then we've got extra ones kind of in storage everywhere. But we've got all of our water bottles. Come over here. We've got all of our uh, blaze rods and blaze powder that we'll need to power. These are the main ones that I'm using. Uh, I think currently I just have some awkward potions in there. But we've got a little spot over here where we are keeping some ingredients to make different potions. I'm not sure what all different ingredients there are, but I know that these can be used. Um, and I've already been making some, what I would think would be the best ones, the fire resistance and the water breathing. Uh, we'll get some more, some 
uh, night vision and instant health and stuff like that, regeneration and slow falling. Um, what else? Oh, we've been storing the nether wart in here. So this is how much we've collected. Um, yeah, I, I like this room. I think it's great. We went with the, um, whatever this is that forms with the geodes. I can't remember what it's called. Calcite. Um, and here I put like a little vent, almost like you can see these fumes coming off of the bottles. So I put a little vent in the ceiling to kind of vent some of the toxic fumes. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I love it. Uh, I have everything we need in here. We've got some different books so that uh, we can look up different potions if we need to. Um, yeah, I think this this place is great. Uh, I love this. Um, we come out, and I spent so much time working on this. Like I said, I made this with brick originally, and it was just so bright. It just completely ruined the landscape, and so... We went through and made it with mud and packed mud. And this is what we have for our nether wart growing area. Um, again, we've got the lights up here, so we don't have any torches or anything. But you can just kind of come through. We can collect these uh, vines if we want them. And yeah, I mean, I love this place. This is awesome. It's going to be perfect for what we need. So... Yeah, we've got three levels of this. Again, just kind of comes right on up. And same thing, we can go down, collect as much as we need. Uh, I think this is going to be more nether wart than we will ever need. Uh, they come up here, we've got a third one. Same thing, might as well harvest it while we're standing here. And yeah, I think that's about it. So I know it doesn't seem like it should take seven or eight hours to do this but if you go back and you look at how the side of this mountain looked and how the side of this hill looked to figure out how to terraform it and get these platforms the way I wanted them and they're all equal and symmetrical uh, we just kind of walled it off here lots of dangerous mobs uh, out that direction it's not built up yet but that's the direction we're going um, we're gonna start building up on the hill soon but for now, um, yeah, we've got our our potion room. I don't know what to call it. Should we call it a potion palace, potion room, um, the potion pad? I don't know, but uh, I I really like it. I think this place is awesome. I appreciate you guys uh, being patient with me on getting the video out and. Um, Appreciate you being patient through the audio. Um, hopefully that won't happen again. But we've got a uh, we've got everything back on track now, and I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, you guys. Um, I will see you in the next episode. Until then, remember, always make your own path. <laughs>